Bureau County Animal Control Shelter is in danger of shutting down if the city of Clinton doesn't pay up. Tonight, a quorum court meeting was held to tackle this problem. I am in all favor of the county being out of the animal control business. Oh, no. You kidding me. <laughs> Lots of noise. Size one thing, being the mayor and talk. There's got to be some way to, if we keep the shelter, the city participates in the amount of animals or supplies that they we ain't take to them. We thought we had an agreement. And we got to know somehow that's going to have to change. That attitude that we don't know it. Y'all take up the slack. It's got to change. Obviously, with the turnout here tonight, uh, there's a lot of people that care about this animal shelter. And this is your opportunity. This is your chance to step up and do something about it. Get in there, form a nonprofit. Everybody that donates, it's tax deductible, 501c3, and, and do something. We can roll up our sleeves, and we can we can do what it takes to fund the animal shelter without just saying, oh, we're closing her down. If you don't if you don't like it, then do something about it. I appreciate everyone here tonight. They are doing something about it. Thank you all for doing Are people of the same importance as animals? I hope we can find other funding, but I just hate to see us. Uh, we, and as far as, I know we don't, we've never had a dinner for veterans. Anybody needs a pat on the back if they're a veteran. And what are you going to do with the extra $130,000 if you don't have the shelter and you take out what the city pays? Where's that money going to go in the county? And I think that the majority of veterans would rather save a dog than eat some dry chicken at a meal. I feel like it's uh, that we live in a civilized society. We're not barbaric. Uh, Rita for the board uh, 35 places to go to get grants ranging from $500 to 10,000 for each grant so I'm hoping the board will be able to utilize some of that some of them may not apply to it but out of 35 I'm sure there's quite a few that will be able to so th that would help us tremendously if we can get money more money through grants that's for sure in 2003 a, a joint venture between the city of Clinton and the county of Van Buren. The property and the facility was purchased as a 50-50 joint ownership. Both the city and the county are on the deed, and I have a copy of the deed if we should need to look at that. It was purchased from Dr. Mays. They are 50-50 joint owners in the operation. They are obviously 50-50 joint owners of the property. I, I don't think it would be right, fair. I think it would be taking advantage of them to expect them to honor a 50-50 venture at this point. They've been trucking along, only paying $20,000. Do I think they need to pay a little more? Yeah, I do. How much legally are they? should they owe? 50% as of right now, but they only account for about 35% of the intakes and calls. That's fair. And if they can do that as a city, and then we need to not just stop with Clinton, we need to go to Damascus and discuss this. We need to go to Charlotte and discuss this, and those are the only incorporated cities. Fairfield Bay has their own shelter. I think we can make a lot of headway. Uh, if this falls into that someone else will take care of it. If you leave it out there to starve, this, someone else will do it for you. Well, the buck stops there because the cat's gonna starve if you don't feed it. My husband died two years ago and he told me to try to look out for his babies. So I look out for the cats mostly, you knew him. And uh, that's what I do. And I've never asked for reimbursement. I've never yelled at any of you people. But I think all of us want to get together and take just a little bit. When you take a cat in with kittens, 
Hey, take a bag and kill you a little bit. Okay, and I think the quorum court um, owes uh, their constituents. Um, you know, you, you guys are elected officials. You owe this county, um, you know, the, the respect to stop and slow down this decision and consider ways that can make the shelter run more efficiently, save taxpayers money, uh, and allow the shelter to remain open to continue this, this much needed uh, service that it provides our community that's already been stated and run. I am in all favor of the county being out of the animal control business. If the city doesn't pay its share, the shelter could close by next June, and any animals remaining there could be euthanized.